Hi, welcome back. Problem today is about the functional equation that the domain of x and y are a member of the real numbers and uh, f is the real number to real numbers. Now, let's get started. First of all, we have to rewrite the um, problem that x minus y multiplied by f x plus y minus x plus y multiplied by f x minus y equal to 4xy times x square minus y square then we can notice that uh, on the right hand side of the equation we have 4xy multiplied by x square minus y square equal to 4xy multiply x plus y times x minus y so then we will see there is something similar on the left side and on the right side that's the x plus y and x minus y so based on that we can use that similar thing to put a uh, two substitution variable here that con a is equal to x plus y and p equal to x minus y and of course a and p also are member of the real numbers so from that substitution variable we rewrite the equation we have p multiply f a minus a multiply f p equal to for x y multiply a and p and we have x will be equal to a plus p over 2 and y equal to a minus p over 2 then replace this to this one so we have p multiply f a minus a multiply f p equal to a plus p multiply a minus p multiply by a p equal to a square minus b square multiply by a p so now we have the function like this the functional equation like this and the next step we have to then convert it um, the app i which contain only uh, the i and not depend on the p value and uh, another side like we also have the app p only contain the p in the person not contain any i variable so we simplify that to move one to the the left side and the other move to the right side we have a q multiply p equal to a f p minus p q a and we can prove that like f a minus a q multiply by p equal to a f p minus p q then we move p to the right and move a to the left by divided 
both sides by a multiplied by p and we have f a minus a q over a p equal to a f p minus p q over a p so simplify that simplify that simplify that and finally we have i minus a q over a and f p over p q over p of course in this case the domain of a and b are still real number but we have another condition that a and b have to be different from zero we can we will check this case uh, later in this video so as from one you will see that any i belong to the real numbers and any p belong to the real numbers then we will have two uh, exception uh, matching 100% together it means this would be a constant again this would be become a constant the reason is because any uh, variable of a and any variable b from real numbers will match this expression and this expression equal each other so it means it have to be a constant and we just put that constant as the k k is the constant so then we will have f a sorry f a minus uh, a q over a equal to k so that means uh, for the f k it means we the f x also uh, minus x q over x also equal to a constant that called case then we will have f x equal to x q plus k x and of course the f x is equal to this expression only when x different from zero so now we have to check the uh, condition we have to check the case when x equal to zero obviously from the this equation if we put x equal to y if we put uh, x equal to y then from asterisk equation we will have the on the left side it will be zero this will be 2x multiply uh, by f x zero and on the right side is also equal to zero so it means this will be 2x multiply x0 equal to 0 and x is any value from the real number it means fx have to be equal to 0 so so the, the case is resolved here so when x equal to 0 fx0 equal to 0 that the same value if we replace 0 into this equation this exception on the right 
that if we put zero here and k multiplied by zero is also equal to zero so the left and the right equal to zero the same value so f x equal to x q plus k x with x belong to real numbers with any value of x that is the final result of this functional equation so the lesson of this functional equation is we first of all we check the the original equation that we put um, substitution variable and reply those substitution and calculate the x and y based on those substitution variable then simplify that and put one uh, exception on the left which depend on one substitution and on the right that only depend on the, the rest substitution variable then we conclude that this will be become a constant because those substitution variable is the member of the real numbers then we check the special case if we have in this case it is x equal to zero finally we have the result as we expected for the equation so that's it thanks for watching see you later bye